Oh yeah, we're gonna save. I'm Monami, and my heart is throbbing like crazy right now. Still glad I don't have to say these parts. I'm really upset that you don't say that. The person who killed the wonderful Mahiru Koizumi is in this room. Impossible! Impossible! That's so impossible! There's no way I can believe that! Ugh, I can't do anything! How annoying! But I'm just gonna believe in everyone! That's the least I can do! Everyone do your best! Don't lose to yourselves! And don't forget to save regularly! Hey, have you saved? <laughs> well, now that we've oh, decided sure. to believe Hyoko, now what? If the killer was luring Hyoko into a trap, then something that was used there might be a clue. Do you mean the letter? No, it was probably the gummy. Huh? Candy can be a clue? Hey, when you woke up, was the gummy already there? Uh, now that you mention it, I feel like it wasn't. What, do, do you think she noticed? Like that's, that's pretty small, I don't know. Just as I thought. Just as you thought? If the killer planted evidence while Hyoko was there, she would have thrown it away if she found it. Which means the gummy was placed inside the closet after Hyoko fled from the beach house? The killer returned to the scene of the crime after I left? They wouldn't have to do something that troublesome as long as they hid somewhere within the beach house. That's impossible! There's nowhere to hide! I even glanced inside the shower room as I was running away, but there was nobody there! Then, does that mean the killer came back? Hmm... I wonder... At any rate, the solution to that problem is connected to what really happened. That's what I think. A new game? That is not what I'm thinking, no. That's a lie. Uh oh, we get to dive into our brain. Logic dive. Five. Yep. Reach the goal. This is this that? That was the. It's the mouse that moves up. No. So it's a control key. Okay. Breaking the left mouse button to jump. I think I did this with controller last time, so this is gonna be weird. <laughs> Have fun. Only these controls, you can reach the goal. Take damage every time you fall into a gap or bump in the walls. After the edges get correct. For several times in one course, please be careful. Here we go. She's right. This might be a very important problem. The killer chamber with the evidence after Hyoko ran away from the beach house. When did the killer arrive at the part from the beach house? And if they hid inside the beach house, where they have been hiding? Hyoko said no one was hiding in the shower room. Think. If I just focus and think about it, I'm sure I'll be able to find the answer. Alright, we're gonna do it. Three fourth place, yeah. Oh, okay. Nope. Oh. Okay, control is fast. Woo -hoo -hoo. This is gonna be fun. Don't get dizzy, people. Here we go. First one. When did the killer arrive at the beach house? Fuck. When did the... Before? Okay. Oh, boost pads! Oh, that was a checkpoint, okay. Here we go, question two. When did the killer leave the beach house? Probably after Hyoko left. Yep. 
Oh, here we go. Whee! Nice. Oh, jeez. Where is the killer hiding? The beach house. That's it. Easy game. It's all coming together. Do you think the killer might have been hiding? You spent all that time thinking just to say something so pointless. No. <laughs> Didn't I just say there was nowhere to hide? Do I have to explain it in another language so you can understand? Her personality got a hell of a lot more forceful once she stopped being a suspect. No, it should have been a place for them to hide. A place you didn't look, Yoko. Oh, what are you saying? Stop being annoying or I'm gonna make Akane bop you on the head and shut you up for good! Why oh. Akane? Because <laughs> it'll hurt more. True. I really don't want it to happen to me. I need the answer by any means. The place where the killer was hiding, the place where Yoko hasn't looked is... IN THE FRIDGE! Yeah. No. Here! The killer is probably hiding in the closet. The closet? That's where I was locked up! After you woke up, you said you rushed out of there, right? And you probably didn't look inside the closet very carefully. But could two people even hide in such a small place? And without Hyoko knowing? That's why the killer made sure to arrange a hiding place. If the killer made sure to arrange a hiding place in advance, I can only think of one place. That's right. The place where the killer was hiding inside the closet was... Okay, I remember this taking me a hot minute to figure out my first time. <laughs> I figured this one out fairly quick. Here! What about the surfboard case in the closet? I'm pretty sure they could have hidden in there. Huh? Inside the surfboard case? But the shelf it was on. It was pretty messy, don't you think? Two surfboards were stacked on the top shelf. And there were surfboards that weren't even in a case. The killer probably did that on purpose to secure a hiding place. Because we haven't been on this island that long. So the closet shouldn't have been that messy. I think. Then the killer was close to me during that time? Yeah, they were quietly holding their breath and hiding very close to you. Creepy. I just realized. What? The foot is sticking out. <laughs> hang on, hang on, let me look. Look at, the, look at the foot of the killer. It's sticking out of it. I mean. Yep. So to speak. But don't you mean it's always darkest under the lighthouse? <laughs> I shouldn't say things I don't understand, like, so to speak. Anyway, the killer hid silently, and after making sure Hyoko left, they finally left the surfboard case. I agree with that as well. Seriously, nobody asked what you think. There's no way the killer would leave Hyoko by herself if they were trying to frame her. If Hyoko was left alone and ruined the evidence the killer had planted, it would have messed up their plan. Instead, it makes more sense to think that the killer was hiding in the beach house, watching Hyoko. Say whatever you want, even if you didn't ask. All right, if you don't want to friggin' get punched, just stand still and let me punch ya! <laughs> Oh, you shut up. Then, grit your teeth. Sorry, Akane. It's not like that. Hey, Monokuma. Can I ask you about something that seems strange to me? I believe Prince Shotoku was from the future. A man from the future is always directing the flow of history. What? <laughs> I'll listen to your story about men from the future some other time. As I recall, the body discovery announcement is made when three or more people discover a body, right? 
Is the killer also included? Among those three or more people? Yeah, that's true, but, uh, well, uh, something like that is basically what it's supposed to be. You don't sound very articulate. <laughs> Jeez, you're pretty annoying for noticing something like that. I know it sounds like an excuse, but the body discovery announcement isn't supposed to be used for deduction. It's intended to create a fair trial. It's supposed to let everyone know a body has been found. So you're saying it's unfortunate that I used it for deduction? I understand your excuse, but depending on who actually found the body, it's possible that your three or more people rule could be deadly. Well, as long as I keep things ambiguous, I can respond to situations with some flexibility. Flexibility, huh? So what about this time? Is it three people including the killer or not? Jeez, fine, fine! You want me to say it? It doesn't include the killer this time, okay? All done. Which means three people other than the killer discovered Mahiru's body. What's wrong with that? Nothing. I just thought it was somewhat strange. More importantly, let's get back to our original topic. You're the one who went on a tangent! Uh, um, we were just saying the killer was hiding in the surfboard case, right? And after Hyoko ran away, the killer got to enjoy the simple life of destroying evidence. However, before we proceed any further, there's something we have to make clear. The killer blocked the roadside door with Mahiru's body before Hiyoko ran away. But what about the blood? Now that you mention it, that mystery hasn't been solved yet. It's going to be all right. If you guys have come this far, I'm sure you can discover that answer too. Now, let's start the argument, shall we? Final feature in the non-stop today, so boy. Your flashback. Oh, not this. The mem- oh, the, the memorization. No, this is gonna fuck me up so much. <laughs> fuck as many times as you want. For your sake. Yep. At least the first time is easy. No agreeing. All refuting. What did the killer do with the blood on their body? Maybe they simply washed it off. They couldn't use the shower, right? So washing it off would have been impossible. They didn't have to use the shower. Oh, what about the wetsuits in the closet? Maybe they wore one when they moved the body. If they use something other than the shower. What did they do with the bloody wetsuit? They cut it up and flush. As someone who flushes their shit every morning, I can declare it would definitely clog the toilet. <laughs> Good. But we know that. Maybe it's the other way around. Perhaps someone other than the killer moved the body. Maybe they were able to wash it off. At least Chucky's opinion might be able to break through that contradiction. Okay. What did the killer do with the blood? Maybe they simply they couldn't use the shit, so washing it off. They didn't have to. Oh, what about the? Maybe they wore one. If they used something other than the shower. What did they do with the bloody wetsuit? They cut it up and flush. As someone who flushed it, it would definitely cl- Maybe they were, <laughs> Definitely! Maybe they were able to wash it off. What did the killer do with the- Maybe they simply washed it off. They couldn't use the shower, right? So washing it off would have been impossible. Nope. No, that's wrong! If they just needed to wash off the blood, they didn't necessarily have to use the shower. They could have just as easily used something else. 
something other than the shower. <laughs> like what? Something other than the shower that was used to wash off the blood. Possibly it was the drinks from the refrigerator. I see. Drinks inside the refrigerator. Couldn't the killer have used those to wash off the blood? I've seen through it. Oh, okay. <laughs> In theory, but that's impossible. Why? Try to remember the refrigerator carefully. And then you will understand that there's no possible way the drinks in the refrigerator were used. Yeah, I don't it's think true so. there were drinks in the beach house refrigerator. However, try one bottle drink it wouldn't be enough to wash off the blood. I can't back down. Uh, nailed it. We can't assume they used just one drink. They could have used a bunch of them to wash it off. <laughs> Didn't I say it was impossible? There were no water bottles in the room. There were only flavored drinks with cup. If you use those to wash, the blood won't come off and your body will get it. will leave an aromatic smell, too. Especially if you used a lock. That alone would raise suspicion. Oh, I must have missed one. <laughs> Didn't I say it was impossible? There were no water bottles in the refrigerator. Correct, because they were in the trash can. Oh, there were water bottles inside the refrigerator. How many times do I have to tell you? There were no water bottles in there whatsoever. That was after the incident, right? But before the incident, there were water bottles in the fridge. And the killer took all of those water bottles and used them to wash the blood off their body. So you're saying the water bottles were gone? Because they were all used? That's a logical fallacy. It's not a fallacy. There should have been evidence inside the trash can. Evidence like a lot of thrown away plastic water bottles. Isn't that right, Chiaki? Ah, oh, you're right. These bottles look like they may have been filled with water. Well, now that you mention it, when I went to the beach house a few days ago, I feel like I drank one of those plastic water bottles. Huh? You should have said so sooner. Then, the plastic water bottles were used in place of a shower. Dousing your body with lots of water bottles is such a simple and easy to understand explanation. Hold on a sec. Now that I think about it, if they soaked their entire body with a bunch of plastic water bottles, if they did that, that person would be... It seems you've realized who the killer is. Uh oh. See? Just as I thought. Hold on. You... You know who the killer is? <laughs> is that true? Let me ask. Who might that be? But the killer used plastic water bottles to wash off the blood that splattered onto them. That killer... Mahiru's killer. Must be someone among this group. No, no shit! shit. <laughs> right before I discovered Mahiru's body, I meant. Say, what kind of swimsuit do you think this Sanya will wear? S since she's a foreigner, how about a bikini? Who, who are you calling flustered? Don't go making false accusations, you bastard! Is that me? Yeah. That's a strange combo. Hello. Um, today is another wonderful day. Well. Isn't that Hyoko? They just wanted a reason for us to sh <laughs> to show all this again, right? Uh huh. My my, how disappointing. I thought if I came here early, I'd be the first one to arrive. Hey, sorry to keep you guys waiting. Hajime and Kazuichi, why are you two here?
<laughs> Is that me too, Shep? Yeah. I haven't had a list of the characters up because I haven't had to talk at all. <laughs> it's to prevent sunburn. I do not want my skin to be damaged. Is there a killer among us? No shit! <laughs> also, can I go on a You're fucking rant for a quick suck? Heck out. Is it you? Alright, before we continue, I yeah. need to say something, okay? Yep. There is not enough information to assume it is Pekka. I don't think so. Why couldn't it have been Gundam? I don't know. Or Nakamaru? Or pretty much anyone else who wasn't there? I mean, you got a point. I, I don't know how to repeat Could've that. Been that Could be. Just saying. Just yeah. Saying. accusing you of being the killer then i should ask you this why do you believe i'm the killer i remember when we were all meeting up to go to the beach you were pissed when you came to the diner you aren't reading if the killer really <sighs> did wash the blood off with water what the hell was that their entire body but there were no towels in the beach house. And it we read, Nacha! We really read! So you said you went swimming so you'd have a cover story. Don't just stay silent! Say something! Hold on, you bastard! You saw her at the diner! You never saw her near the beach house, right? So maybe she really was swimming! No one even saw her swimming. No. I saw her. Huh? Uh, after I ran into you bastards at the diner, I crossed paths with her on my way home. So, so there's no doubt. She would have arrived at the diner from the opposite direction of the beach house. Hold on. That's strange. Didn't you just say this earlier? It's just a coincidence that I passed by the diner. I didn't even pay attention to the beach house. Went straight back to the hotel after I saw you guys. I didn't see anyone during that time. You told me you didn't see anyone. Don't try to tell me you forgot about that. Got him. Not so fast. It's too soon to decide she's a killer. We haven't established how the killer was able to leave the beach house. Now that you've mentioned it, you're right. The roadside door was blocked. And if it's impossible to leave from the beach side without leaving footprints, then how the fuck did the killer escape? Um, why are you all fired up, Fuyuhiko? You're not the suspect. Pekko is. Who cares about that? Answer me! If you have an explanation, then show me what you got! We might have an answer. Huh? Do you really? This mystery seems unsolvable. Well, if Peko is the killer, then I might just have an answer to that mystery. We'll see. Then let's hear this alleged method of escaping the beach house. First, Very quiet. let's establish how uh -huh. the killer escaped. Killer's escape route. I might know what that is. In fact, the only possible thing I can think of is that opening. That is the window. If the roadside and beachside doors aren't an option, the only other thing I can think of is. Well, nothing really. Except that small window in the shower room. Huh. Don't you know how high that window is? There's no way Peko could have reached it. But, but what if, for instance, she got help from someone? She might have reached it by riding someone's shoulders, but then that person would have been left behind. Is it possible an object was used? A rope, for instance? And what happened to the rope after they used it? And don't say something stupid like they threw it outside. Of course not. That would violate the school trip rule. The no littering rule here is so stupid. 
I mean, it's it's helping us move along at least. I guess, but it's so Rule arbitrary. Even if it might be evidence, rules are still rules. You see, there's no way they'd be able to escape from that window. No, they just have to use an object. Chiaki, don't fall asleep on us. We just said they couldn't use an object. You did? I thought you were saying they couldn't dispose of an object. I see. You don't have to throw it away if you can just hide it somewhere on your body. Huh? Pekka was wearing a swimsuit, remember? Where would she even hide an object? And if you say she hid it in her special place, I'll stab you in yours! Whoa! Oh Alright, no. alright. Please don't be violent! Even if the killer used an object to escape out of the window, they wouldn't have been able to get rid of it. So the only thing I can think of that the killer must have hit it somewhere. If that's the case. No, maybe. It was an object they didn't have to hide. If so, I feel like I'm starting to see something. No! Oh. Oh. Dude, a tank man, you got seven minutes. You think you can do it? I know what the second word is. I don't remember what the first word is. <laughs> uh, it's something. B? Oh, that's what it is. All right, do I remember how to do this? Yes, okay. All right, I don't, no. need, don't, don't well, need that. Okay. I'm just getting rid of it. Yeah, okay, okay, okay. I was gonna say, I'll just start spelling it out until you figure it out. Yeah, no, I got it. I don't need all these letters! I need a B! Okay, just get out of here. I know what it sounded like. It's... I hope you're aware, it just sounded like you just said, I need a P! <laughs> Man, I am voice acting like tomorrow. I got a P! <laughs> no, he's got a shit. Different. Sure. Dude, imagine getting letters you actually need. Right? Okay, now... You might as well set up the W there real quick. Oh yeah, true. Game. Police! Set up the... Oh, okay. Dude! There are no S's allowed. There we oh. go! Now where are the O's? Oh, wrong button. Fuck. <laughs> You're an idiot. You just had an R! Where? Oh, wasn't that what you just destroyed? No. What was it that you destroyed? Then? I don't fucking know, dude. Probably a W. Well, there goes your R. Oh, uh, what? No! I didn't even see it! It's fine. Yeah, there's another one. Alright, we're out of here. Jeez Louise. <laughs> dude, an only... Five minutes and two seconds to spare. Hell yeah. That was close. Echo, you carry that bamboo sword on your back at all times, right? If I recall correctly, you had it then too. And, and who takes a bamboo sword with them swimming? Right. Despite the fact that you had a swimsuit on, you were still wearing your bamboo sword. Are you saying she used that bamboo sword to escape through the window? Yeah, Pekko used that bamboo sword as a step stool and escaped out the window. A uh, sword as a step stool? You see, I knew it. I knew it was a ninja. Didn't <laughs> I tell ya? A ninja could have climbed that easily. <laughs> Ninjas know a climbing trick where they lean their sword against a wall and use the handguard as a step stool. Wow, just like a Japanese ninja. Miss Sonia, ninjas only exist in Japan. Well. <laughs> It is a bamboo sword, but I'm sure a slender girl like Pekko could easily use it to climb. Well, Pekko, do you have anything to say? Uh, I'm too fat to do that. <laughs> <laughs> Panic talk action! Imagine if Pekko, in her defense, just pulled out her bamboo sword, leaned it against the wall, stepped on it, and it snapped in half. Lol. <laughs> Be like, you were saying. Right. <laughs> They're just like, oh shit. <laughs> Sorry, like, we just made you feel fat. Whoopsies. 
<laughs> okay, so this is introducing fever time. Yeah, it's just the panic talking shit. Mm -hmm. You got this. You know what you're doing. I believe in you, Nacho. Rhythm stuff's easy for me. I have to redo the class trial for that chapter if they do that. Okay, bro. Hold on a sec, you bastard! You're saying she used her sword as a step stool and went out the fucking window? Then what about the sword? It would have been left in the shower room and she wouldn't have been able to recover it, dumbass. Not necessarily. Why do you even care? Shut up! Just shut the fuck up and answer me! If you have an answer, then fucking give it to me! If she used the bamboo sword as a step stool, it would have been left behind! Fihiko, why? Why are you... Here we go! What else did you think you were arguing Got against Fihiko? You bastard! I'll slay your fucking organs! That's obviously impossible! <laughs> You're pissing me off! I'll slay your fucking shut organs, up, little boy. Shut up! Don't fuck with me! Got proof, you bastard! What happened to Mr. I can do rhythm games? Dude, their timing is so fucked up. They're not even like on the beat. Sword as a step stool, it would have been left behind. This is the end. Nailed it. If she used her bamboo sword as a step stool, she could have recovered it with her sword back. When she leaned her sword against the wall to use as a step stool, she tied her sword back to it. And after she climbed up to the window, as long as she hauled the bag up toward her, she would have been able to recover her bamboo sword. I see. Not just the bamboo sword, but even the sword bag, too. She used them both to escape. Hakane said Why she's is like Mikon crying? But it's nothing as silly as that. That's a good question. Simply put, only Peko could have performed this feat. An escape plan befitting of the ultimate swordswoman. Even so, how disappointing. If you'd only let me work with you, it would have been an even greater plan. No, oh, you just back off. Uh, um, is it true? Is you, you uh, hold on, you're just making assumptions. You, you don't have any proof. I won't accept this unless there's proof. Got it, you bastard. It's fine. Huh? I said it's fine. Saying anything more would just be an exercise in futility. She admitted it just now, right? She admitted she's my who is killer, right? But is this right? Even though Fuyuhiko was the one arguing with us, I could just admit it so freely. Among flowers, the cherry blossom. Among men, the samurai. I commend your decisiveness, at least. Very well. If you admit it, this ends now. Let's cast our votes. Okay. Hurry up and vote. Uh, hold on. Let me confirm one thing first. Can it wait until after the voting? This is important, and it relates to the voting. It's about Peko's motive. 
my motive? In the end, you had no connection to the events depicted in Twilight Syndrome murder case, right? Then, why did you kill Mahiru? Hmm, so it's about that. Let's see. If I must answer that question, I must say it was for the sake of justice. Oh. Huh? Justice? In order to protect the justice of this world. Oh shit, she's going crazy. Huh? I do not sully my hands to satisfy personal grudges. There is only one reason I kill. For the sake of protecting justice. <laughs> what are you saying? Justice is what makes humans human. It's a virtue that human beings should be proud of. Justice is the eternal sun and the enduring moon, the protective father and the smiling mother. Uh, hello! Earth to Pecco! If justice ever disappeared from this world, the world would immediately freeze and people's smiles would vanish. I will not allow that. It's, it's fine. Just stop it. Justice must always be there to guide us, to shine bright above our heads. I'm telling you to stop it! So I must fight. I must continue to fight to protect justice. Oh, okay. is, could she be? As the light of justice shines upon my mask, I expose the hearts of malevolent evil. Justice complete. Dun dun dun. This is so stupid. <laughs> <laughs> the center of justice that is pierced by justice. The lead star of justice that shines in the night sky. That would be me. Sparkling justice! I forgot about the little bit of cuts at the text. The emotes? Yeah. Oh my god, it's now beautiful. Then, let's execute justice! Ah! What? What the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> Shout out to Kazuichi for having the reaction of all of us. Yes. Especially given he's the one right next to her. <laughs> Justice. In the name of sparkling, shining justice, I have come to deliver justice. What? What emote even is that? I don't know. <laughs> What's going on? What's this? Chill. Oh, she okay. chill, all right. Pecco finally snapped. Everyone, please be careful. Sparkling Justice is a serial killer who claims to be an ally of justice. Clad in her various hero masks, she is a serial killer who exclusively targets other criminals. She is supposed to be... but... huh? An ally of justice? So that's why you're wearing a mask! This mask is the dividing line. Just like various idols, the sun is revered because it lies just beyond your grasp. Justice should also be the same. <laughs> I, I don't get it, but, but this is becoming really crazy. What? What the heck is this? Echo is the killer? Why is it turning out like this? This, this is turning out to be a surprising turn of events. <sighs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Time for you to be sleeping. Take a look. It's a killer. No shit. <sighs> There's a killer here the whole time. What else is new? <laughs> and he gives zero shits. This mm -hmm. again? <laughs> <laughs> I told you. Been there, done that. So, what's your answer to my previous question? Why did you kill Mahiru? This world must always be bathed in the light of justice. I must not allow even one shadow. 
evil must be eliminated immediately. No matter what, I must not overlook evil. Evil? Are you saying my hero is... If you knew about that incident, then you must have played the game. Am I right? And because of that, I was able to find the killer's accomplice hiding on this island like a sewer rat. Then... The reason you killed my hero was... <laughs> to protect justice, of course. <laughs> In order to protect justice... I love justice, this pose. Uh, I have become its merciless sword. And I should make this my fucking screen justice. background. Oh god. <laughs> Holy crap! She's such a stereotypical psychopath! <laughs> I mean, a number of things I'd describe her as gross, probably not one of them. Heck, is this your true identity? My true identity? <laughs> I have already forgotten who I am. It just shows my determination. My determination to protect by throwing away what's most important. I'm willing to become anybody to shower this world with justice. <laughs> What's going on with Yoko's thing there? Did you see anymore. that? Mm -mm. Let's just end this Yoko's already. character model was like flickering black in color. Oh, interesting. Was like another visual glitch. End it. He is right. This we need to end this already. The killer. In the end, there's no mistake that it was Pekka all along. Let's go over this incident one more time, and then let's end this. All right. While you do this, I'm going to be back in a little bit, okay? Okay, okay. Stock one. All right. Bring an incident. Marhu met. I don't think we have that yet. Two forward letters. Yes. Oh. First member of the beach house was Hiyoka. We don't have that yet. So it's my career. We also don't have that. We'll have the mask. Oh. Oh, does this end in it? Alright. So that. In the closet. Yep, there we go. that. Boom! Stock two! Uh, let's see. It is... Oh, nice. Okay. Okay, here's my hero at the beach house. Good. Put the mask next to the body. Wash off the blood. Bada boom. Okay, the head in the surfboard case. And then bada boom. Here's everything that happened in this case. That's pretty quick. The incident began this morning when Mahiru spoke to Hyoko. Mahiru most likely played Twilight Syndrome Murder Case, the video game provided to us as the motive. She probably wanted to discuss it with someone else who also appeared in the game as a character. Hyoko accepted Mahiru's invitation, and they promised to have a more detailed conversation about it later. However, someone else overheard their exchange. The killer. The killer eavesdropped on their conversation, and use their promise to devise a specific murder plan. By preparing a specific item, they plan to manipulate the two's actions. That item was the letters. They sent fake letters to both Mahiru and Hyoka. 
The letter Mahiru received told her to come to the beach house at 2.30 p.m. And the letter Hyoko received told her to come to the beach house at exactly 2 p.m. By providing different times, the killer was able to lure them to the beach house separately. Hyoko totally trusted that letter, showed up at the beach house at 2 p.m., just like it said. and was drugged into unconsciousness by the killer lying in wait. After putting Hyoko to sleep, the killer immediately hid her inside the closet so they could frame her as the killer later. At 2.30 p.m., Mahiru arrived at the beach house. She was completely unaware that she'd been targeted for murder. Approaching her from behind, the killer struck the defenseless Mahiru with a specific weapon, the metal bat that was left at the scene of the crime. The bat was brought down onto the back of Mahiru's head, and with that, she took her last breath. According to Mikan's autopsy, Mahiru died instantly, so she probably never knew who killed her. With that, the killer achieved their goal of killing Mahiru and began to tamper with the crime scene. They dragged Mahiru's body so that it blocked the door leading to the road. Also, the mask found at the scene of the crime was something the killer personally left. I'm not really sure why. My guess is it's something similar to a calling card. That's how the crime scene we discovered was created. However, by moving Mahiru's body, the killer got blood splatter on him. Plus, the shower room had no water because it was out of order, so they couldn't wash it off. But the killer expected something like that to happen. Instead of the shower, the killer used something else to wash the blood off their body. They used plastic water bottles that were inside the beach house refrigerator. We can assume they carried the bottles to the shower room before the sequence of events had happened. In place of showering, they washed the blood off their body with water bottles instead. However, they had no choice but to dispose of the empty bottles in the beach house's trash can. Littering is against the rules, and it would have taken too much time to throw them away somewhere else. After the killer washed off the blood, they hid in a specific spot inside the closet Hyoko was in. The killer hid inside the surfboard case that they had already emptied beforehand. After some time had passed, the sleeping drug used on Hyoko wore off and she woke up. I can imagine how badly Hyoko must have panicked when she came out of the closet. I mean, she made plans to see Mayu, who lay dead right in front of her. From the shock and panic of being considered a murder suspect, Kyoko fled from the beach house. Because of that, she left footprints in the sand. Everything was a trap set by the killer to frame her. After Hyoko left, the killer finally came out of the surfboard case and placed a gummy that they brought with them to shift our suspicion toward Hyoko. Ironically, placing that gummy is what helped clear our suspicion toward Hyoko. Finally, the killer began preparing to escape from the beach house. They couldn't risk leaving their footprints in the sand, so they escaped the beach house using a different route. The small window in the shower room. However, that window is rather high up and can't be reached easily, which is why the killer used... the bamboo sword they always carry with them. The killer took the bamboo sword out of its bag, tied the bag to the sword's handle, and used the sword as a step stool to reach the small window while holding the sword bag in their hand. As long as they're able to reach the window, all they had to do was pull the bag to retrieve the sword. And so the killer left the beach house and appeared before us as if nothing had happened. But their wet hair and swimsuit didn't dry right away. There also weren't any towels at the beach house. So, when the killer met up with us, they said they had been swimming for a while as an excuse. So how about it? This is the truth behind the incident you caused. 
Isn't that right, Heko Peko Yama? Oh snap. Oh snap indeed. I see.